Hello guys, <coughs> fans, table tennis fans. See, look, see what I have right now. So this is my Fan Zhendong ALC. So personal item like the handle, you know, not a very beautiful. If you look at the Timu Bong ALC, right? That's very nice, beautiful. So yes, look at the handle. I don't know how he designed and then look at this one Timber Timber ALC you know his pedal looks like very nice you know very cons you know simple but uh, you know beautiful see I will put this aside so now I get to talking about the rubbers you know to pair with uh, Fan Zhendong LC blade, right? So when I first got this blade, what I put? I put a T, or actually I put a Rosanna on backhand and a T05 on forehand. Right, so after I try that, I feel this blade is a little bit soft actually, you know. It's very stable, very good for loop. It's really very good for loop. And especially off the table, and you can see, you know, the arm, you know, the arch is very long and flat, you know, lots of spin. It's not a, uh, like a speed type uh, blade. It's more like a, you know, stable, you know, like a Fan Dong. He doesn't need the power. He has enough power. He wants a blade with very good stability, you know, and also spin. Easy to create a very good, nice loop. So this is a Fan Zhendong ALC. And I really like it too, you know. For me, I also are, uh, you know, a player, you know, want to play left, right, and also, you know, close the table and also stability, you know. So let me tell tell my experience. When I try the T05 on my forehand, I think it's pretty good. T05 2.1 millimeter, right? When I tried, it's really good. You know, especially you know, cut table over table looping is very good. Only I feel sometimes you know, when the ball close the net, you know, it's not a, you know like a forehand flick, a little bit slow. But you know, you can control the placement or add more spin like that, right? And at that time, I tried the uh, Lozen on my backhand. Wow, I can feel, tell you, it's really soft. So, yes. So my personal experience now, I let I tried, you know, the, you know, Dignix, you know, Dignix on IC on my backhand. Wow, it's a kind of a sticky rubber. It's like, you know, DHS Hurricane 3, like that. And I put Dignix 05 on my forehand. Right, so you know, as my personal experience, I I am an amateur player, an amateur player, and not a very you know powerful player. I always like you know T O five on my forehand, so I can just switch back T O five. T O five, I feel sometimes you know a, a bit thick or hard for me, so I can feel sometimes you know the rub and the pedal not really, you know just in one unit and I feel sometimes you know it's not a, relatively speaking right um, it generates more spin I can tell you but the little thing is you know when you don't add too much power right the ball just stays there stop stays there but if you TO5 you just add a little spin or a power it just comes fast like I talk I, re, I see some vid, uh, reviews from you know Dima Ochalov, he mentioned too. For T series, right? T series rubbers, you do less, but the rubber still will give you more. But for D series, you give more, they generate more too. So that's I feel too. So I, I put in a Dignix O9C on my backhand. Wow, I would say still not so fast. But you can see, you know, the ball stay on your pedal a bit longer. So you can generate more spin and control the placement. Pretty good. 
So let me see my concern is I feel, you know, so the D O you know, D O nine C, right? I feel you know kind of a bit heavy, you know, compared to like a T C L S. That's um, sometimes you feel the rub, you know, the the pedal a bit heavy. That's the only difference I feel. Otherwise, I find because you know I am not a powerful player. I have a good defense, but the ball is a power, left and right is you know. You know, control or you know defense like that. So I don't like some heavy blade. You know, like uh, you know, if I look, if you look at my other videos, I have a Harimoto LC, Harimoto Super ZLC. I mean, for each hand, it's good blade, but for left, right, you know, exchange. I feel you know, team ball a uh, on uh, sorry, uh, Harimoto LC. Oh, Harimoto Super ZRC, it's too heavy for me. I like a little bit light blade, you know. So if you guys know, you know, I always like a blade with like around 80 or 89 grand, right? So you know, actually my favorite, you know, my favorite pedal, my favorite pedal is still this, but it is discontinued, like this. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Lin Gaoyuan ALC. I put a T T eighty on my backhand, T O five on my forehand. Really good, you know. Back forehand, backhand, forehand. Ours it's as a you know best well balanced blade I ever use. I mean, well, I say it's well balanced. Mean as I mean, attack, defense, offense, defense. You know, and the block is just good on everything, but not so perfect on everything. Maybe everything is 10 out of 8, but just good enough. You know, defense, offense, control, just, just everything. So for Lin Gaoyuan ARC, I put T80, you know, so to increase my backhand stability. Sometimes if I use T64, if I block kind of like that, maybe you know, have a little more basic because of the table, but once I Use T eighty. Wow, it's good. Yeah. So yes. Yeah, so this is my review for the Fan Zhendong ARC. You know how to find the rubbers. But now I can switch back my forehand to T O five. But the backhand I was still keep using. You know techniques T O nine C. Or even I even if I feel still too heavy, I may go back to change to like T O T sixty four. So for me, yeah. Fanzano LC forehand definitely T O five, back backhand maybe D O nine C or T sixty four, you know. So yes, thanks for watching. You know, if you have any questions, please leave me some comments. You know, I am willing to share with you. If you feel you know you're enjoying what I talking, right? Yeah, don't forget to sound, give me a sound, and also subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.